Halo teman-teman, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Jumpa lagi sama saya Hasnu Insani Johar. Kali ini kita akan melanjutkan episode yang kedua dari video saya yang membahas tentang Once in a Promised Land, uh, Laila Halabi. Uh, ini part yang kedua tentang introduction. Tema yang kita fokusin adalah FBI, the idea of FBI in once in promised land, juga the metaphor of terrorist hunting license. Yeah, part one introduction of uh, FBI and terrorist hunting license in Laila Halabi in one in promised land. So my presentation examines how Laila Halabi's once in a promised land published in 2007 utilizes the FBI trauma and terrorizing license to question U.S. anti-Muslim racism by engaging with postcolonial studies with the frameworks of racial studies and 9-11 novels. So I will investigate how Halabi's novel explore U.S. domestic spheres, especially the FBI, with enforced with the U.S. households such as love affairs, domestic trauma, and car accident to vary the debates in 9-11 students, in 9-11 studies, which mainly focus on U.S.-centric trauma. Indeed, Laila B. Snowfall uses the FBI, which is an international agent, as in controlling U.S. domestic problems to eliminate how anti-Muslim racism invades and policy U.S. nationality. Thus, Halabi takes not only question the limited scope of the discussion surrounding 9-11 debates with center on domestic trauma, but also undermine anti-Muslim racism through both the exploration of domestic genre and the metaphor of terrorist hunting license as interrogates U.S. domestic international surveillance of U.S. Muslim communities. So if you remember the attacks of the World Trade Center and the Pentagon on 11 September 2001, we have seen a huge number of literary texts dealing with the attacks and their aftermath. We have also seen a wide variety of scholarly commentary on those literary texts. So I choose the term after the invasion of Iraq as historical marker in the, of my presentation. So in so doing, I follow Nel Nalazarus, uh, who argued that mainstream commentary on the attacks enjoin us to believe that the very substructure of the world changed as a result of these attacks. Hence, the apocalyptic lexicon Ground Zero, Year Zero, and indeed 9-11 itself, the name of the date identified in this Americanist way, having long since become a fetish on the basis of its obsessive and fundamentally recontextualizing reiteration. So once uh, Halabis once is a promised land written by a Jordanian Palestinian American woman writer is one of many contemporary American Muslim novels discussing the operation of US Muslim after the invasion of Iraq. It describes the struggle of Muslim couples Salwa and Jasim who experienced marginalization while living in the U.S. in the aftermath of U.S. invasion of Iraq. So Halabi used domestic issues such as Jasim car accident, Salwa's uh, emotional trauma and terrorist hunting license involving the FBI to participate uh, participate in larger debates in 9-11 narratives, especially anti-Muslim racism and terrorism. Unlike Richard Gray in, in, in 2011, who argued that 9-11 novels only focus on domestic trauma and American national issues, I instead argue that Halabi's novel uses domestic genre to undermine um, U.S. racism, which tends to exclude U.S. Muslim from U.S. belonging. In doing so, Halabi's novel uses um, and represent the FBI as controlling U.S. domestic issues, including car accident, instead of U.S. international problems, such as U.S. invasion of Iraq and U.S. provision Israel occupation in Palestine. So by using the FBI agent, Halabi's novel reveal the U.S. government has invaded and policy anti-Muslim racism from its bottom level. 
of its uh, citizen as Halabi protagonist experiences that were hunted by the FBI due to car accidents involving Muslim uh, descendants. <clears throat> So when we see that how this uh, Halabi, uh, Halabi's narrative focuses on the life of one couple, Jasim Haddad. Jasim Haddad is a Jordanian hydrologist and his wife Salwa, who was born in America, grew up in Jordan and is of Palestinian origin. Even though she was uh, living in Jordan and had rooted in Palestine, Salwa would uh, first tied to America by invisible threats even before she went to live there, unquote. So this bond can be seen through the way the omniscient narrator depicts Salwa as having consumed uh, U.S. popular culture exemplified in the American Disneyland, hamburgers, Hollywood, and the Marlboro Man, unquote. So Halabi's novel uh, raises the issue of trauma faced by this couple in the aftermath of 9-11 attack. In particular for her male protagonist, Jasim, who is accused of having links with terrorism just because he looks like an Arab. So Halabi's narrative begins to falter under its emphasis on the domestic and melodramatic it also reveals how distant political events can unsettle normalcy, including the uh, quest as dawn of personal and domestic uh, lives. So Halabi's novel explore the idea of personality and domesticity instead of global matters as gray and use. However, these domestic spheres can be used as a way to question issue of globalization, such as terrorism and Islamophobia, that I explore further. So as argued previously, Halabi's text undermine US racism, especially anti-Muslim racism, by utilizing or by explore, uh, exploring the domestic spheres such as Jasim car accident, Salwa's bodily and emotional trauma, such as miscarriage, assault, and harassment, and also the metaphor of terrorist hunting license. And Teresa Tinglinson is, is the term on the sticker, which is used by both Halabi's characters and American extremists to allow them to hunt and exclude U.S. Muslim from U.S. belonging, especially after 9-11 attacks. So in the novel, Evan, a white American extremist and his gang, uses the sticker of terrorist hunting license on their skateboards that they ride on the street where Jasim is driving his car. Indeed, Evan rides on his skateboard hitting Jasim's car, which has caused the car accident and involved, uh, involved the SBI. So this domestic experience have been used to invade it and policy anti-Muslim racism through the country and beyond. Thus, this domesticity works to decentralize 9-11 as the divining trauma of the novel. Uh, challenging the notion of trauma as US centric. So we can further discuss about uh, the involvement, the FBI and the car accident in part three in the next of the video. And so we can end this uh, second part and by reciting Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you.